In this video, I'm going to show you how to add internal links to your WordPress site. I'm going to explain what they are as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. And this video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. If you find this video helpful, you're going to find that playlist super helpful. So make sure you check that out. It's linked to down below. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. Internal linking is great for SEO. So let's add an internal link to one of our blog posts. I want to link from this post right here, maintaining well-being, to our post-workout smoothie recipe blog post. So I'm going to click on this blog post to open it. And then I'm going to go to edit post. And now we're going to find a piece of text that is relevant to the post we want to link to and then link to it. If we don't have any text that's relevant to it, we have to add some in. This is all lorem ipsum placeholder text and we have to add something in that makes a little more sense. This is a great smoothie. What a nice sentence right in the middle there. And we can highlight this, highlight any part of it, just one word. Uh, you, you want to do more than one letter. You wouldn't highlight just the O, for example, or just the exclamation mark. You want to highlight at least one word we're going to highlight the whole sentence in this case and then click on this link icon and then search for smoothie because we want to link to that post. So you search for the post you want to link to. It's currently searching and here's our post workout smoothie. It lists other posts as well, even tags and categories if we had a smoothie category. So choose the correct place you want to link to and click on it. And that's that. We now have a link to our other post inside this one. That's called an internal link. Click on update and let's go to view post. Let's scroll down and then click on it. And this should take us to our post workout smoothie, which is right here. So that's perfect. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And in terms of SEO, you should be doing a lot of internal linking. Every time you create a post, you should be linking from your old posts to your new one and from your new one to your existing ones as long as those links make sense. You don't want to link from the smoothie recipe to a motorcycle repair post, for example. But you would want to link to maybe a different smoothie recipe or a workout that this would be the post workout smoothie for. Pages that are relevant to each other are the ones you want to link together. And it's really time consuming to add those links to existing posts, but luckily there is a plugin that can help you with that. It's called Link Whisper. I have a tutorial for it in the card up above and the description down below. So if you have, or if you plan on having a big website with a lot of internal links, make sure you check out that tutorial because it will save you hours and hours and hours and hours of time and make sure your linking is of high quality to help you rank better in search engines. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.